Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to help you decide if you need a compressor pedal. Basically, do you want a good balance between your chords and your finger tapping like this? Or do you want a good balance between your picking and legato runs such as this? Do you want your alternate picking to sound nice and precise like this? Or do you want to play with gain and have your notes last until next week like this? If you answered yes to any of the above, then perhaps the compressor pedal is for you. All of those examples I just played there were using a compressor pedal. And today the lovely compressor pedal that we have is the Boss CPX1 compressor, which I have on the board here. This is a high-end compressor, and I'm absolutely in love with the thing. As you know, I'm a fan of compressor pedals. I've been through a few, and this is the current favorite of mine. So what does a compressor pedal do exactly, and why should you consider getting one? Well, a compressor pedal, I think Dan from that pedal show, puts it best is the overdrive for your clean sound meaning that it's given you that really guns kind of clean sound and to put it into terms it's given you more of a balanced beefy tone with more sustain which you can imagine are all good things for finger tapping and finger picking and getting that balance between uh, strumming and finger tapping or strumming and playing intricate parts and this is how I see compression and I think it's a quite a good analogy um, so basically if you ever been in a practice room or somewhere where you can gun like an amp on clean like something like a fender style lamp and it gets to that stage where it doesn't get any more louder it just compresses more and it gets this lovely chewy kind of sound to it and all of the things that you're playing are sounding wonderful and all the tapping and stuff is sounding wonderful well that's how I see a compression pedal uh, for us bedroom guitar players basically we can get that same kind of feel that same kind of response from our amp but at much lower much lower um volume levels which is great. I'll give you a quick AB comparison with the compression on and off so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, I've got all my pedals here running in stereo into two different amps and I've got the volume quite low and I just need my headphones. So my clean tone without the compressor on. with the compressor engaged. As you can hear there, it's really driving that clean signal, right? And it's definitely into that 
you know, cramped amp uh, compression territory. And I think it sounds wonderful. And obviously this has got great application, like I said, for uh, playing finger tapping and finger picking and uh, balancing all of those notes and stuff in between. Right, so there's uh, lots of different compression pedals on the market. They all do a very similar thing, but they can get ranging from the very expensive all the way to the very affordable. And it's worth bearing in mind that every single compression pedal is going to react differently to the way you play, different guitars, different amplifiers, different setups. So if you are listening to uh, reviews and stuff online, such as this one, for example, uh, bear in mind that it may sound different to what you what you'll get if you get the same pedal of course so it's worth doing a bit of research i recommend downloading uh, the manuals online for a pedal that you're interested in so you can look at what each control on the pedal does i say the best compressor pedals um around the 150 dollars to 200 dollar range and i'm going off uh, amazon prices here and in that range you're going to get a lot of uh, studio grade compressors as they all say in their manuals so i've been doing a lot of research about these but uh so uh, um, bang on the $150 uh, range, you have the Boss CPA 1X pedal, and this is their like premium range of the pedals that they released in you know, a silver screw one. And um, really good pedal, and it's a bit of an upgrade from the CS3 compression they do, but that's still also a fantastic pedal. I've owned that pedal in the past. You could have uh, the Wampler Ego Compressor, another great compression pedal. You have the Earthquaker, Earthquaker, <laughs> Earthquaker Warden Compressor. This one's on many uh, math rock guitarist boards, and I've owned one myself. Another fantastic pedal. Um, some more affordable options in the like eighty to one hundred and twenty dollar range. You have the Boss CS3 Compression pedal, which I mentioned before. Really fantastic pedal. Very similar controls to this. You have the TC Electronic Hypergravity, which gives you the tone print options, which gives you plenty of different compression options. You have the MXR Dynacomp, which is one of the very first uh, pedals, very simple two control pedal. And in the more affordable range, I can recommend the Nuex Sculpture Compressor, which is this one, and I'll get that up on screen for you. Uh, about $50 that one, very fantastic pedal, so I'd recommend that. And there are more affordable options there, so if you're looking for a place to start and you're not sure if compression's for you or it's going to work for you, then go and pick up one of these pedals, and if you do enjoy it, then obviously you can upgrade to a more, uh, more pricey unit in the, in the future. And I've got a little uh, compression jargon demystifier, I'm going to call it that, and I'll put that on screen for you. So if you want to pause here, you can have a read through that. But basically all pedals have different names for different controls, but the, the um, but most of the time they just relate to the same thing, but they all have little nuances different from each other. So like I said, it's really worth downloading the PDF of a manual online just to see what they do here, what they, what each pedal does individually from the next. So we've come to the end of this video. So if you have any questions about compression, it's a very interesting subject and there's a lot of confusion around it. So let's have a discussion below in the comments and I'll try and do my best to help. I'm no expert at compression, but I'm learning all the time, um, you know, different ways of using compression. And it's a very fantastic tool that many guitarists overlook. Any of the pedals that I mentioned in this video, I do have Amazon affiliate links down below in the description so if you head down there and you click through and if you buy anything from Amazon I get a very small percentage which helps me buy gear and helps support this channel so I really appreciate it if you do end up picking up any pedals that you go through one of those links. I want to say extra thank you to the patrons of this channel for supporting what's going on really having a good time doing this and uh, hopefully the weather's going to cool down soon because I'm sweating in this room with the window shut and I can't have the fan on but <laughs> the weather's cooling down so that's great and um, also I have uh, t-shirts available merchandise there's a link below in the description for that or you can see a merch shelf and if you go and pick up one of those t-shirts I super appreciate that and um, yeah thank you very much again and um, anyway have a good week and I will see you next time goodbye <laughs>